All right, Shalom Yashrala. It's your brother Malachi. Uh, just another quick video. Um, I stumbled upon this video of uh, Marlon Wayans, who's a uh, actor slash comedian. <clears throat> he speaks on black men wearing dresses in Hollywood. Let's check it out. What about the, you know, the black man putting on a dress conversation? You talking to a black man that put on a dress? Mm -hmm. I don't know. That, that conversation to me is, it's silly because it's a it's a it's a negative thing that is only in black people. We now, Marlon. <clears throat> what you may have forgotten, and it seems like you've forgotten, because you've been around uh, certain other nations. The reason why it's only in black people is because black people are naturally holy. Holy is separate, so they have this thing within them. It's called morals, morality, to where they know naturally good from evil. And what, what happens is when you get around other nations who don't have that same uh, morality compass, so to speak, you start to act like them. So when you say, sit here and you say things as, oh, it's silly, I don't know why it's only around black people that feel as though wearing a dress is wrong, it's because they're not supposed to. You see, the Most High God chose so-called black people to represent him. In representing him, he wanted the world to see what happens when you follow God. Why? Because of what you see today. There's nothing but confusion everywhere you look. Why is that? It's because the Most High God's laws aren't being followed. So when the Most High God, God's laws aren't being followed, you have confusion. So Marlon Wayans, when you sit here and you say that it's silly, it's not silly. You've just been around your oppressor so long that you forgot who you are. You forgot that you're special. You forgot about how the Most High God chose you to represent Him. So now you don't have that quote unquote essence, that, that oomph anymore. Why? Because you want to blend into a society that does things that are against God. So now you live in a confused state. You may have money. You may have what you consider uh, stability. But mark my words, if you don't come back and follow God, that stability won't be for li a lifetime. There is a reason why God told our people you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans to follow his laws. He was literally cleaning your DNA. He was making you godlike. Okay? And Marlon Wayans, my question to you is, have you looked at your nation? It's a nation that is uh, built off of now prostitution. Now, having a, a black man be effeminate, you know, standing up for nothing, accepting crumbs. And when you say things like that, I can't help but think that that's how you feel. Why is it acceptable that a black man is in a dress? The strongest man, mentally, physically, spiritually, on the planet. Why is it that everyone wants to see him in a dress? Could it be because it makes them more comfortable with them within themselves? Knowing that they disarm God's chosen people. So now they can live how they want to live and not feel bad about it. Let's continue. Have for some reason been programmed to look down on the craziest parts about our experience. That we're supposed to not embrace our past, not embrace our history. Hey, let's, okay, so let's go into that. Let's embrace our history. Hey, Marlon, so the reason why uh, black people innately have this problem with wearing dresses is because it effeminates them. So I don't know, maybe you forgot. When we came here to America, there was this thing called buck breaking. So basically, Say, Marlon, if you had a family, you know, a wife and children, when you were in your captivity, your family was captured, right? 
and you being the man of the house being the actual uh, defender of the house you will be taken out back in front of your family and raped by a white man so that your family can think that when they look at you you are weak you can't defend them so when you say things like that like what you're saying now you're not embracing your history no you're not embracing your history and you're embracing it in a perverted way what this is ladies and gentlemen is a man who's been around his oppressors for so long that he's accepted their ideology he's accepted that he is uh, he's not a part of God's lineage he's accepted that so when he says things like this he's saying what We've, we, we, we were buck broke back then what's, what's wrong now we were feminated back then what's wrong now this is the issue with men like this in our community you're looking at things from a total perverted way man not embrace our heroes not embrace our different levels of comedy you're hit you're hit so so Marlon your heroes put on dresses my man you got to reevaluate your heroes then dog if your heroes put on dresses, then what did they stand up for? How is a hero? A hero is something that stands up for something and, and uh, paves the way for something, you know, for something better to come. What did your heroes do? That we have to be this way. When Robin Williams puts on a dress and is Mrs. Doubtfire, he gets nominated for an Oscar and white people think it's brilliant. It's so once again... Hey, see, <laughs> black people, you the issue with you guys and, 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 and I say this, I'm I, I'm a part of the collective. I just want you guys to look at things from a different point of view. You want to be integrated into these people's societies so much, so bad. Look at what he's saying. Robin Williams puts on a dress and it's OK and he wins an Oscar. How come I can't put on a dress and win an Oscar? Oh, my gosh. You see, you don't want to be different. You don't want that destiny. A lot of black men, a lot of black women, you don't want the destiny of being known as God's children. What you want, you want to be like everyone else. It's obvious, man. You see, he doesn't know what he's saying right now is programming. The white man looks at this. He loves this. He loves it. Because he has a black guy who's, who's literally sitting here. And making a case as to look guys we we need to be like them <laughs> I don't care who cares about an Oscar bro look at your look at look at your community right now y'all are so worried about trying to fit in in this society a society that like I said is confused a society that has no laws that you're just destroying yourselves man and they love it, bro. When he talk like this, they love it, man. Community embraces it. When Dustin Hoffman puts on a dress in Tootsie and he wins an Oscar, he's labeled brilliant. When black people put on dresses, all of a sudden we're labeled by our own people like something negative. You damn right. You damn right, Marlon. And anybody else that puts on a dress as a black man. Because you came here on slave ships. And you sit up here and let your oppressors fucking make you look stupid. So don't sit up here in my face trying to make it seem like something that you're doing is cool, nigga. Because you wearing a dress, you look stupid as shit. And I hate talking like this and getting on this level. But sometimes it needs to be said. And it needs to be like this, man. Yes, it's an issue. Yes, it's a problem. I don't care about the white man's world. I don't care about fitting inside of his world. I don't care about his approval. And you, you clearly do. Because you will de de destroy yourself. And we're clearly seeing it right now. You telling everybody you will sit up there and put on a white, you'll put on a dress to, to, to make sure that the white man uh, accepts you. To, so you can win an award. And I'm like, we did White Chicks. That's a classic movie. Mm -hmm. It's a classic. I don't care what nobody says. No, it's no. a classic. Everyone says it's a classic. That whole... It's a classic because 
You effeminate yourself, dog. <laughs> Y'all don't get it? If you go against God in this society as God's chosen people, they reward you. Why? Because you're defying your God. Thing about, you know, you put on a dress and you selling out, that, that is not an artist's mindset. When you are it's a slave mindset. You, 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 you have a slave mindset. You have a mindset that you want to be accepted by this society. The society that actually hates you. The society, Marlon, that is using your talents, your God-given talents against you to basically effeminate you. So you don't understand, Marlon, that their programming has worked on you. You're going against your own self. Artists, you know, you go out and you create art. 